Hi folks and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be doing a synthetic fresh cream. Yep, I know what you're thinking, synthetic. No, it's not really that type of synthetic, but you get the drift. This video is one of two. So today we're going to be doing the unsweetened version and the second video I'm going to be doing will be a sweetened version. Don't forget your recipe is in the description below the video. Uh, that's the little pour down this side or that side, whichever the case may be. And whilst you're down there, don't forget to check out the playlists because I've got a lot of baking ones with recipes. And also while you're down there, if you want to, please subscribe and share. Anyway, we'll get right on with the video. And before we start the recipe, the important parts, temperature. Now it's important that you don't exceed 60 Celsius when you're cooking your milk up. And also a good temperature for your kitchen is around about 20 Celsius. And for your recipe, powdered gelatine, six grams, 284 milliliters of full fat milk, 182 grams of unsalted butter. First, we're gonna turn our hob on. Now we're going to heat manually, turn it down. Now we want to heat our milk up to 60 Celsius, no more. So you've got a thermometer and all we do is keep an eye on the thermometer all the way through and keep stirring all the time. And just keep your thermometer in the milk. You've just got to go to 60 Celsius only. You just don't want the milk to boil at all. As soon as it hits your 60, take it straight off. And that's, that's it. All right, now we've got our milk. And all we're going to do with this now is spread on the gelatine and give it a good stir in and just dissolve it down. In fact, this, this part you can use a whisk. Just get that gelatine well mixed in. Now we'll put our saucepan back onto the hob once again. Low. And we start stirring again. Now we want this once again to go up to 60. You don't want to boil this. And there we go, there's your 60 and take it off. And just pour our milk back into the bowl that originally came out of. Now our milk and gelatine's been added in and it's been warmed up. All we need to do now is leave this so it actually jellifies. It doesn't need to go solid like jelly, but it just needs to just start to go. And if you do find any bits still in it, give it a good stir up and it'll just disappear. Well, it's time to get your machine out. It does help if you've got a three speed because you've only got one of three speeds to choose from. But like me, I've got a 10 speed. So most of the time it's gonna be sat on medium speed, which is number four. Now the important part is that your butter needs to be room temperature. And also the gel that's being added into the butter will need to be 20 Celsius. So if you've popped it in a fridge, you now need to leave it out into the room to come down to room temperature because this mix is like making a cake. As you add the liquid in, if you add the liquid in too fast, you'll find it a curdle. That's not a problem because this type of cream, you can beat it up to get that gel into the cream. So don't panic. It is very hard to muck this recipe up. Okay, I did originally muck it up when I first made the recipe, but needless to say, you're not gonna be doing that because I'm teaching you the right way, not the wrong way. Now we'll put our softened butter into the machine and start that mixing.
Now you want to cream that up so it's nice and light. When it's white, it's right. Now you want to be getting it onto second speed. Now it's nice and light, you can start adding in your gel. Just a spoon at a time. Just make sure it clears. This is almost like adding egg into a cake mix. And there's your artificial fresh cream. It's as simple as that. Well, there you go, guys. Wasn't that nice and easy? And don't forget, we got part two coming soon, and that's the sweetened version, which is a slightly different recipe altogether. And don't forget, your recipe is down in the description. And that's those two little links on each side to pull down to get your recipe. And whilst you're down there, if you like to, please subscribe and please share. And we'll see you again very shortly in the Crazy Baker Kitchen on the Crazy Baker Channel. Laters! This is the Crazy Baker Channel. Baking. Lifestyle. Recipes. Reviews. I am the Crazy Baker. Please subscribe and please share. Laters!